Um, I haven't done a video in a while on my own bike, uh, just because I've been so busy. Um, but this sort of calls for an opportunity, it's nearly sort of like, not ne someone pretty badly cut me off, put it that way. Um, you'll see the footage after. Um, but it's sort of like, it's been the case of, it happened yesterday on the way home, and it's just happened this morning, you know. Uh, and it's just ridiculous, you know, it's not even, it's just stupid shit all the time. Um, my speedo's not working because my front wheel drive has fucking killed itself. Um, so I've got a new one on the way, it's just taking fucking ages to get here. So there's not really much I can do, you know, I need to use the bike. Um, yeah, it isn't the smartest thing to do, um, but I can gauge my speed, you know, and obviously speed cameras, you just slow right down or you match the car next to you. Um, you can get by, you know, I've been doing it for a couple of days now. Um, yeah, it's not ideal, but I did replace the speedo cable and it's, you know, I stuck a drill on the end of the speedo cable at the bottom end and spun it and it was moving the clock, so it is the case that it is that the wheel drive is the only other thing it can be, so it's on its way, I'm waiting on it. <laughs> um, but so yeah, basically I'll start off with what happened yesterday. Um, where was I? So uh, I came a, a slightly different way home just because I wanted to sort of, I don't know, really, I just didn't want to go all the way up the the, uh, the motorway, the whole way, I just could not be bothered. Um, so I went a slightly different way and sort of headed through through this bit, basically. Um, yeah, instead of, instead of coming off the, you can come off the A127 just up there, but I, I went, uh, when did I come off? The, the turn off before, basically, um, and, and just sort of came through through the towny bit instead. Um, yeah, and I've, uh, I've come past, I think it's Festival Leisure. I think it was that right about. Yeah, the one that's I've gone on to Festival, I think. Or no, the one, yeah, no, it is that one, yeah, sorry. And uh, you've got two lanes. Um, and a lot of the, basically what it is, you've got, you've, you, your first exit is, is straight over, basically. There isn't sort of one just there. So, um, as you go across straight over, there's two lanes, and the left-hand lane merges into the right, because if you continue in the left, it's like a, a taxi-only lane for, for some, some weird route that I've never been up there, because it's taxi-only. Um, so, obviously, the people in the left-hand lane, they've got to merge into the right-hand lane, continue on, and then they can sort of re-merge back later on. Um, sort of when it when it detours from the slip road so obviously oh, I'm poodling along uh, I mean obviously again my speed I was broke so you can't really see my speed um, but I'm not going massively fast you know you can sort of see that in the video so sort of maybe 40 45 at a stretch realistically um, and I've come across in the right hand lane um, end of the roundabout I'm on the inside of the roundabout and in the video, you can see her moving over, you know, but I'm not, I'm not looking at the car next to me like this, am I, while I'm sort of coming onto a roundabout. It's just, you don't do that. You know, you probably, I mean, I could have probably preempted it and things like that, but, you know, you, you sort of drive around. I mean, God knows how many hours I'm on the road a week. If I had to look at it, I mean, like that car could have just cut across me there. You know, I'm not going to... I'm not going to look at every single potential thing. I mean, I know you should, and I do try to as much as I can, but... You know, there's only there's only so much stupidity you can preempt. You know, um, so so yeah. So obviously, I'm I'm going along the roundabout, um, and just as I sort of, I'm trying to think how to explain it. As I'm actually on the roundabout, pretty much just about to follow it round, like just about to follow the yeah, the, the sort of curve of the roundabout. Um, she sort of, almost, like she comes right across and he sideswipes me, you know. Um, and she was going straight over. It's not as if she was like, oh fuck, actually, I want to be in that lane. She's just, uh... <laughs> she's just, uh, she's just come across the front, uh, not the front of me. She's come right up the side of me to the point where, say, this white line is the curb. I'm here, and her car is like here. Um, and, you know, everybody knows how the GoPro's lens doesn't do things justice with how close they look. But even on this, it looks fucking ridiculously close. So you can tell how bloody close she was. Um, to the point where, obviously, I've just... I think I've revved the bike a couple of times. It's baffled, so it's not even loud. I think she has sort of then... Oh, oh fuck, there's actually somebody there. Um, 
and I've, I've just sort of, I'm pretty sure I opened up the throttle to get away because I was sort of still fairly certain that she was still coming across and would have taken the tail end of me out. What are you doing? This is what I mean, people were just so fucking ridiculous. Um, so yeah, that's what happened with that. So yeah, that was just, oh, it's absolutely ridiculous, you know, I mean, you see it in Essex all the fucking time, but there's, it's, it's stupid the amount of roundabouts in Essex, I don't, I don't really don't understand it, um, it's like they just got roundabout happy and just fucking slung on everywhere they possibly could, um, there's ones local to me that are, it should just be T-junctions or whatever, but they're, they're roundabouts, mini roundabouts, it's just like, what is the point, um, and I mean, even more so the fact that Virtually fucking 70% of the drivers in Essex cannot fucking use roundabouts. They do not understand lane discipline. They do not understand how roundabouts work. They are fucking dreadful. It's just atrocious. Um, so it's the worst place to fucking live. Or the worst place to put a roundabout. Because nobody fucking gets them. To the point where you... Not, like Literally, again, a high percentage of accidents... Uh, uh, accidents, sorry in Basildon is probably purely on roundabouts and, and then other than that it's going to be rear enders I mean just up the road from where that woman nearly knocked me off uh, I see someone massive of uh, the free car pile up someone was sort of laid on the floor ambulances all the, and, and police attending the scene you know and it's just you see it the, the, the car the, the car parked at the furthest at the front just had tons of rear end damage because someone just ploughed into the back of them because they're fucking stupid and they're not paying attention and again, on this road into South End, I see it every fucking day, every day, or virtually every day, there's just pile-ups, people rear-ending each other because they're not fucking looking and it's just ridiculous, you know? There's no other reason for you to rear-end someone unless you're fucking sitting up someone's ass. And again, I see that. Um, I mean, looking back at some of my older videos, I'm not the best for it. I still probably I ain't the best for it. But you see cars and I'm talking like they're stupidly close you're talking like a foot away from the other car's bumper and they're not you know you can see they're not even homed in as well they're not really paying the world of attention they're looking around most of them are always fighting around with a phone or a bit of paper or it's just some bollocks um, and you know if, if that car um, emergency brakes you're gonna go straight through their windscreen because you are not paying attention to them and it's just stupid you know um, so yeah anyway the next one and it's it's sort of one reason why I try not to every time. So you've got a car. Say you've got a car in front of you and it's turning left. Now of course that car is covering whoever's going to turn right out of that junction. So they're blocking their view. Um, of course the car should wait. Let's wait to turn out until it's clear and they can see. But this is again Basildon. People don't fucking do that. People are stupid. Um, warranted she said sorry, but you know, if, if I was going a bit quicker or whatever, it, it, the sorry wouldn't have been fucking warranted, because I'd have been T-boned and I'd have been fucking bouncing all over the floor, smashing up my bike. Um, and it's just, it's just classical fucking driver error in Essex, it's just, you see it, honestly, like I'm saying, I see it all the fucking time. Um, and it's not even, I mean, when I first got into riding, I used to watch loads of crashes, not just because well, I like seeing people crash or I like seeing the damage or the injuries because I like seeing what shit happens on a regular basis so that I know what to look out for and it fucking helps massively because um, it teaches you a lot of the time stuff to preempt before it's ever happened because a lot of the stuff you learn on the road I still to this day um, agree a lot of the stuff you learn um, you learn from, from doing it Whereas, you know, that, that <laughs> I'm trying to think where to explain it again, you know. Obviously, if you learn from it happening, and you've got to see it in person sort of thing, um, 
you might not learn from it, you know, that might that might be it. That incident might be the one that, you know, your first sort of whatever happens, that might be it, you know, that might fucking mully you or you might never ride again. Um, so that's why, realistically, I put up these clips, a little bit to shame the driver, because it's just fucking cuntish, but a bit so that you guys can see it and think, you know, um, this is this is the type of shit that I need to look out for. You know, this is where stuff generally happens. What what can I do to sort of avoid it? Um, you know, I mean, a lot of the time, say if this, say if uh, that Range Rover was turning left, let's see, we're going left down lane, he was turning left. A lot of people, because there's enough room, would go up the inside and just fucking tear off. You know, and I've done it. I've been there and done it. Everyone does it. Well, not everyone, but people do it every now and again, you know, it happens. It's not one of the things you really think about massively. Um, but had I have done that on this occasion, I would have fucking hit that car. Because there was two things turning in front of me. She's not bothered to preempt it. Um, I mean, quite possibly she shouldn't have to. But, you, I, mean, I mean, obviously no one's going to preempt that a bike's going to be there because people just don't care, bottom line, you know. I mean, I always think before I sort of say if I'm going to turn into this lane here, I'm always going to think, oh, is there another bike behind me filtering? Because they're always around and I'm on a bike, so I'm possibly a little bit more aware of their presence. But people in cars don't give a fuck, bottom line. They're not going to think, oh, is a bike going to be there? Because his bike's probably going to get there before me. They don't give a fuck. You know, they just they don't. They do not give a flying fuck about you. Um, so, I mean, obviously, if that was me turning out of that, I would have thought, well, what would I be doing in that scenario? I'd probably go up the inside of that car because he's just taking fucking ages to turn. So, I'm not going to pull out because I know that bike's going to fucking get to me quicker than I can turn out. Um, but, of course, she's not looking. She was looking left by the time she was halfway in front of me, like, actually crossed, crossed this white line, and I'm obviously in that lane sort of thing. So, she was, she was well in my way before she'd even fucking seen me, you know? So there would have been no sort of she wouldn't have been able to accelerate quickly out of my way or anything like that. I mean, she probably wouldn't anyway, but she she didn't see me, so there was no there was no avoiding it in her 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 case because she's too busy looking the other way. And I mean, yeah, of course she's got to look left because she's got to make sure it's clear that way. But you've got to look fucking both ways quite evidently because you know that that could have just been easily could have just been a classic um, a classic collision and insurance claim again in Essex down to the same thing it's just that people not paying attention to what's on the road um, and don't lecture me about this I know how dangerous it is <laughs> but I quite simply don't give a fuck because I'm actually looking and indicating and paying attention whilst talking because funny enough I can fucking do stuff like that and not end up killing everybody and I do this every fucking day not that that's any um not that makes any difference, but yeah. But this is what I'm saying, you know, it's just the same stuff all the time. And this is why I want to upload it, because everyone else can see it, and it helps. It help. In my opinion, it really helps to see see the type of shit that goes on on the road. Um, yeah, I did indicate there. Oh, well. <laughs> um, to see the type of stuff that goes on the road, then you then you can sort of predict things, you know? Um, what the fuck, you know, how fucking close to the white lines you want to be? Um, yeah, you can see the type of stuff and almost preempt it. Or, 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 you know, take it a little bit easier in them type of things. I mean, quite possibly, I mean, it's hard to sort of say, isn't it, really? But, I mean, quite possibly, um, and possibly a newer rider would have just sort of torn past that car um, or the van sorry just just sort of gone straight up the inside of it as quick as he could have just to get to where he was going again quick as he could um, and he would have hit that car bottom but you would have definitely hit that car I mean even I, I I think I may have even accelerated slightly but um, I didn't sort of go mental um, and I still had to come on the brakes fairly hard. You know, I was nowhere near locking up and all that stuff, but I did have to brake pretty abruptly. And, you know, I'm just looking at her thinking, you're not even looking, you know. You, you clearly haven't used your fucking brain because you shouldn't pull out when you can't see what's coming. Um, 
I mean, say if a lorry was coming, or, or you know, something big, you know, he ain't gonna be able to stop that quick, he's gonna fucking plough into the side of you, and it was driver's side, so if a lorry would have ploughed into her, she'd have been fucking hurt. Um, well, I would have thought so anyway, you know, it depends how hard he hits her and all bollocks like that, but you get what I'm saying, you know, um, there's just, there's so many things you've got to be aware of, and this isn't the place for it, people just aren't. Um, I mean, I really wouldn't be surprised if this is like a sort of in the, in the top, I don't know, like 10 list of of road traffic accidents. Um, I just, just wouldn't, you know, because I see it all the fucking time. And I suppose it doesn't help where I'm always sort of travelling around the, the sort of time where, obviously, rush hour times when everyone's out and about going to work and fucking not awake and then too tired and just just general lack of attention but it's that's what I'm saying anyway guys um, it's not really a rage because to be honest I'm I very rarely get angry anymore um, get a little bit of adrenaline shot from my, my system and get a little bit pissy but you know, you sort of just take it on the chin now. I and mean, at first, it'd be the case of me just going fucking mad all the time. Um, and I mean, sometimes I, I do, but I mean, the beauty of it is I got my intercom, so a lot of the time I'll just sort of put some music on, or I'll call my mum and just have a chat with her, take my mind off it. Because otherwise, you know, when you when something like that happens to you in, on a bike, you get a bit pissy, and then you start riding like a bit of a cunt. You know, you start riding a bit quicker, um, and you just get yourself in trouble. With, with possibly near enough hitting somebody else, you know. Um, and another thing is a lot of the time you notice um, that speed, and it, it's always something that comes into play when a motorcyclist nearly has a crash or has a crash with a car. It's the first thing anyone ever says. Um, but a lot of the time, you know, if, if you was just, just going a little bit slower, just poodling along, you'd have probably avoided it. And it, it, it's sort of like something that took me quite a while to admit it, but it is very very true because a lot of people in cars again they just don't care and they're not going to preempt your speed you know if you're going sort of 45 50 instead of 40 they're not going to preempt you going that bit quicker and they're still going to gauge that they can get out in front of you and they're not going to be able to bottom line you know we all know it um, but they're still going to go regardless so you've got to come on the brakes but you know if you were just cruising along a little bit slower um, I mean, obviously, you should be breaking the speed limit anyway and all that stuff, but we've all been there, we've all done it. Um, it's just them silly little things, you know, that the, the people in cars just generally don't take take into consideration um, or possibly just don't give a fuck about. <laughs> um, but, you know, a lot of the time I sit back and I think if I'd have been going a bit slower, I'd have probably just, just sailed through that with no problems. Again, like the, uh, the one that I had on the way home, which will be the first... I don't know how I'm going to put the clips in, but I'll put them in somehow. But the one on a roundabout, um, if I'd have been going a bit slower, she'd have obviously just cut right in front of me and I'd have just been like, you're a cunt, you know, bottom line, you're just a prick. Um, but it wouldn't have affected me in the case of nearly scrubbing me up onto the roundabout because I was going that little bit quicker, I was in front of her. But then again, you can say on the flip side, if I was going a little bit quicker than I was going, I would have passed right in front of her and it should have just cut in behind me. So it's, it's, it's all swings and roundabouts. Um, bottom line is she should have been paying more attention to the road regardless because she's changed lanes without indicating and without looking. And that's what's resulted in it. And if I was a car, like, I think actually, funny enough, I did ring my mum after um, for a little chat. Oh, fuck. Well, that was lucky. There goes the GoPro. Um, well, it's going to have to go in my pocket, guys. So uh, that's it for now. <laughs> I will continue talking for a couple of seconds, but uh, <laughs> the mount has just brought, I broke it this morning, um, trying to put it on with, uh, with my gloves on. I snapped both the clip, uh, one of the clips off, and one of the clips snapped a little bit. I've had it for fucking ages. Um, so I knew it was going to be really loose, but I didn't think it'd fall off just yet. But yeah, I'm going to leave it for this one because the camera's in my pocket, you can't see shit. Um, and I really can't think what I'm saying. But you'll see the clip somewhere along the lines, and that's it for this one. Adios.